Hey guys, Miss J's here, back with another video. So welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel once again. Uh, we're glad that you guys are tuning in. I want to do a quick video of a sweet potato cheesecake. And I just wanted to bring you guys along for the ride, share my recipe with you, and hope you guys like it. So we are going to get started by going over our ingredients and then we will begin to put our recipe together. So if you wanna see the rest of this video, I hope you guys stick around. If you do stick around, please remember to go hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. Thank you and I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, so we are back with our ingredients. So we are going to start out with our graham crackers and our butter so that we can make our graham cracker crust. Then we will do our cream cheese. We have four boxes of cream cheese here for our recipe. This is just a general cheesecake recipe. Nothing really special about it except the sweet potatoes. So that will be, you know, our thing. But this is a very easy uh, cheesecake recipe. It just calls for, again, our cream cheese, which we have four boxes of cream cheese. We have four eggs. Then we have a cup and a fourth plus three tablespoons of sugar. Then we have our vanilla flavoring. You can add anything else to it that you want as far as flavoring goes. Sometimes I add in lemon juice or lemon flavoring. I will not do that today because I have my sweet potatoes here, which is a mix from, if I could get it open, that I made the other day. And so we're just going to use that and add in our cup of uh, cheesecake to that once we get it mixed. The only thing else that I am adding to it is a little pumpkin spice. And so we have this, which already has our other spices and other sugars in it. So we don't want to make this too sweet. So we won't be adding any additional sugars, flavorings, or anything to our sweet potato mix. Of course, if you wanted to make this and you didn't already have the sweet potato mix already together, you want to bake two sweet potatoes, take those and get out all the strings and then add in a cup of sugar, a fourth a cup of brown sugar and one egg. And you can have your mix to get ready to go for your cheesecake like I do, okay? So we are going to move forward. We have our spring farm pan here. We're going to get our crust together and we will be back to show you that as we move forward. Thanks. Okay, guys, we are back. We have our graham crackers here. Our recipe calls for a cup and a half of graham crackers. That will be a full one of the packs of graham crackers out of the box. Will be enough to suffice for that. We have our butter melted here. We are going to use a third cup of butter. We're just going to pour that in here. So we're just going to mix our butter and our graham crackers together till all of the graham crackers are moist. And that looks pretty good. So I have my spring form pan here. We are going to press our graham cracker crust inside of our spring form pan. First, I want to prepare my spring form pan. I'm going to spray it and I'm going to cover the bottom with foil because I am going to put this in a water bath. Normally, I don't because I'm not a big fan of how pretty the cheesecake looks. Um, I know that it cracks some and some may call that overcooked, but it's fine with me. But today I want it to look a little nicer, a little neater uh, because it is a sweet potato cheesecake. So we're going to cover the bottom 
so no water gets into the pan. We're going to cover it with foil, okay? And I'm going to do that, and I'll be back in just a sec. So we are back. We got our pan tinted with foil. We are ready to put our graham crackers in here. I'm gonna spread those out. Evenly. And we're gonna press them to the side. Okay, guys, I think that's pretty good. It doesn't really matter if you come up the sides. Well, some people like that. I'm not a big fan of graham cracker crust, so I'm okay if it doesn't cover the sides and it's just on the bottom. So we're going to put this in the fridge until our cheesecake is made, and then we're going to pull it out. Okay guys, we are back. We are getting ready to make our cheesecake filling now that our pie crust has been put together and put in the freezer. I know I said refrigerator a few minutes ago, but we wanna put it in the freezer until we finish making our filling, cream cheese filling. So we're just going to open up each one of our cream cheese filling. Get them in the bowl. You want to make sure that you have allowed your cream cheese filling to sit out on the counter and get room temperature. I have also allowed my eggs to sit out on the counter and get room temperature. So this is our sweet potato cheesecake. I know there are a multitude of different kinds of cheesecakes out there. Many of you have probably made them. So please leave a comment letting me know what's your favorite cheesecake a favorite cheesecake mix. Do you like to mix or do you like a regular original cheesecake? For the most part, I am a big cheesecake fan and I like the original, but I like to top it with cherry filling and cool with. Preferably not on a graham cracker crust. Maybe a cookie cracker. Okay guys, we got our filling in there. We got our cream cheese filling in there. We're going to put our sugar in there. After our sugar, we're going to put, uh-oh, on the top, we're going to put our vanilla flavoring. Of course, you know, I'm always eyeballing it, but we're putting about two tablespoons, or two teaspoons, sorry, two teaspoons of flavoring in there. And then I'm just going to use my hand mixer Okay, we're supposed to add our eggs in one at a time here, even though mine are kind of mixed up. We're going to 
gonna stop here, guys, and wipe down our sides. Make sure we get all of our cream cheese incorporated and well mixed with our eggs and our sugar and our vanilla flavoring. Okay, guys, we have our cream cheese filling mixed and ready to go. I actually have my sweet potatoes here. I felt like I needed a little bit more sweet potato in it in order to make it a little thicker. So I added some more sweet potatoes to it and I already added my pumpkin spice to it, which was about a teaspoon of pumpkin spice that I've added to this. I'm going to move my filling because I'm going to, and you need about two cups of um, sweet potato. And then you wanna take the cup of your cheesecake filling. So we have our cup of cheesecake filling and we want to mix it into our sweet potatoes. That way your sweet potatoes will have your cheesecake mixture running through it in order to help it cook evenly. I know some people out there may not do this step. And that's fine. This is not what you do. And so we're gonna mix it well. And then we're going to put our cheesecake in our pan. And I want to do the swirl motion. So I'm going to put the cheesecake in and then dollops of sweet potato and then cheesecake and more dollops of sweet potato. Okay guys, we are back. We have our crust here out of the refrigerator or freezer. And we're just going to pour about half of our mixture in here. Then we're gonna do a couple of dollops Cheesecake here. And we're gonna take our stick. You can use a knife. I'm gonna try to use a stick. And just make some swirls. Try not to scrape the bottom. Then we're gonna pour the rest of our mixture on here. Then we're going to put more of our cheat our sweet potato mixture on here.
trying to get as much of it as I can in here. And then we're going back with our little skewer, making more swirls. Again, try not to scrape the bottom. Okay, so that is it. We are going to move this out of the way. So we have our pan here. We're going to take our cheesecake and place it in our pan. We have a shallow pan. Make sure that you center it as much as possible. And now we have our boiling water that we're just going to pour in the bottom of our pan. Then we're gonna put our cheesecake in our oven at 300 degrees for about an hour. Now we're gonna clean up our mess and we'll be back to show you guys our finished sweet potato cheesecake. Hey guys, here is our cheesecake. It has been out of the oven for uh, prob about, probably about 15 minutes. We are letting it cool down. You have to let it cool down for about an hour before we put it in the refrigerator. You will not see me cut this cheesecake because I made it for some friends. So I have to take it whole, but this is our cheesecake. And this is what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Really appreciate you guys. Um, and stay tuned. We got more videos in store.